On to our lead story tonight, school violence and assaults on campuses here in the Valley. Thanks for joining us tonight live at five. I'm Dave Corbassier and I'm Trisha Keen. The violence must end in schools and we have been following all of the issues taking place. And just yesterday, three teachers attacked at three separate schools here in the Valley over the last 24 hours. A knife pulled on a teacher at Foothill High School in Henderson. Then at Grant Sawyer Middle School, a teacher assaulted and threatened with a pair of scissors by a student in Spring Valley and battery against a staff member over in Summerlin at Palo Verde High School. All three students have been arrested for those incidents and reporter Jeremy Chen joins us live now from Grant Sawyer Middle School to answer the big question tonight. What exactly happens to these students once they've been arrested? Jeremy. Yeah, that's right, Tricia. And one of those uh, reported attacks that you mentioned, as you mentioned, happened right here at Grant Sawyer Middle School here in Spring Valley, where a student was arrested. And as far as any student arrest, the process for that involves both holding that student accountable and rehabilitating them to make better choices. Both the students and the teachers are, for a lack of better words, fed up. They're just not okay with their circumstances. Tavares Garcia was saddened but not surprised by the arrest of a Grant Sawyer Middle School student Wednesday. CCSD police saying the eighth grader was threatening teachers at the school with scissors. It's just one of several fights and other incidents reported across the Clark County School District in the past several weeks. The teachers are clearly acting frustrated. The students are acting out. That student was arrested by police. But what happens afterward? Ruben De Silva, a CCSD teacher who is part of the district's school safety committee, tells News 13 that the student would be immediately removed. An incident where like a, a teacher is assaulted or another adult on campus, uh, that individual is probably going to be held uh, and uh, taken to a room and secluded and, and held uh, there with administrators present. CCSD police says a student under arrest will be taken to a juvenile facility for processing. Parents would be notified and the student could request their presence before speaking with investigators. A court date is then set in juvenile court with the matter usually resolved in days. If a student is expelled, they can go to continuation schools or online learning. CCSD amended its expulsion recommendation policy last week to include physical fights that cause major disruptions. De Silva says the measures are needed to protect teachers and students, but cautions on any liberal use of expulsions. But there's still the sense that they are still, you know, young people. They're still children even, and they're making that that transition. And that uh, we got to be careful in how we go about, uh, uh, you know, dealing with them. Garcia says accountability is good, but he would like to see staff and students work on building bridges. We need to get back to more compassion um, and just understanding the individual needs of the children like we used to feel like. And within that revised expulsion policy, CCSD has also added distribution of drugs as an expellable offense as well. Reporting in Spring Valley, I'm Jeremy Chen. Jeremy, thank you.